Hey, what's up? Easy Overdose here. Do you have a keyboard that shuts off after you don't hit a key for five seconds? It goes into like a sleep mode, hibernate, power saver mode. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And you probably pull your old keyboard down out of the closet and start using it again. Because if you're a gamer, uh, you know how bad this sucks. You hold down the W key and you're running forward. The keyboard actually goes to sleep while you're holding the W key and it basically puts you in auto run even when you release it you're stuck in auto run and same deal like if you're holding W and you're running forward the keyboard goes to sleep and then all of a sudden you decide you need to you turn or strafe or something and you hold that key down the keyboard doesn't actually wake itself up until the key is released so you hit the key it doesn't do anything and then when you let go of the key it wakes the keyboard, but it's still not doing anything, and then you need to hit the key again to make it do something. So, it it's basically makes that kind of a keyboard worthless for a gamer. And this is the keyboard that I got. It's a Microsoft uh, Model 200 USB wired keyboard. And I know what you're probably looking at. 11 bucks, man, and you're a gamer. You got what you paid for. Well, I just needed a keyboard to type keys because I game on this. It's a Logitech G13 gamepad. And with that said, this keyboard does everything that I wanted it to do and expected it to do. It's it's quiet, like it's a quiet uh, membrane keyboard. It has soft uh, key presses, and all the keys work. None of them are weird where you have to push on them like really square, like you can push on them at angles and stuff and they all work. So I, I read the reviews on this keyboard, like I always come down and, and read like the lowest reviews before I buy something. And I seen this one. Goes to sleep after 5 seconds in Windows 8.1, even if holding a key down, very frustrating. And I ignored it because I figured, I can figure that out, it's got to be some kind of like power saver feature. Well if you go into device manager, and you look for it, it's uh, in the regular keyboard section, it's not there. It's actually grayed out. So that's actually grayed out where you would think you could uncheck that. And if you go into the power options, like the plan mode, it's not there either. But where it is, is in control panel, go to Devices and Printers. USB keyboard, right click on it, go to Properties, Hardware tab, and then click USB Input Device, and then go to Properties in that. And then in General tab, go to Change Settings, brings up another window, and then you have a Power Management tab in this window. And in this window, this will be checked. This comes checked by default. And this is what's causing all of the problems. You uncheck that, you hit OK, you hit OK, hit a key on your keyboard to wake it, and that should be the last time you ever need to wake it. Problem solved. So now you can enjoy your $10 keyboard. And hope you liked the video. Throw a comment down below if it works for you. And see you next time.